Artificial intelligence identifies new music hits. In the future, artists and record labels will no longer have to guess whether the song they are working on will turn out to be a hit. Algorithms will help them answer this question. And this, in turn, is enough for a few pieces of information about the functioning of our body when we listen to a given music. The researchers trained machine learning algorithms to analyze listeners' bodily responses to a particular piece of music. Artificial intelligence measures the emotions and attention of the person listening to the melody using its neurophysiological activity as an indicator. Thanks to this, scientists were able to predict with 97% accuracy which songs will appeal to the most people. The description and results of the research were published in the journal Frontiers in Artificial Intelligence. Scientists from Claremont Graduate University decided to train algorithms in such a way that they analyze the reaction of people's bodies to the music they are listening to at the moment. As a result, up to 97% of accuracy, it became possible to predict what other songs people would like. These algorithms measured and assessed the emotions that accompanied listening to the melody and how much people were focused on it at that moment. The basis for this assessment was the neurophysiological data collected by the algorithms. This turned out to be much more effective than if we simply asked the person if they liked the song. At the same time, the algorithms did not need a large sample of data to make an opinion. The data collected during just one minute of listening to the melody was enough to achieve an effectiveness of 82%. 33 people took part in the study. Each of them was to listen to a total of 24 pieces of music. At the same time, the work of their hearts and brains was monitored by senses. Of these songs, 13 were considered hits by streaming platforms, but as might be expected, participants in the study were not informed which ones they were. At the end of the study, 
the collected cardiac data was analyzed and used to determine the functioning of the person's brain. And this is possible due to the fact that when we feel good, two hormones are secreted in our body. Oxytocin and dopamine. Referring to the analyzed situation. When we listen to music we like, our brainstem begins to secrete oxytocin. However, in our prefrontal cortex, when we are focused on something, e.g. listening to music we like, dopamine begins to accumulate. Analyzing the brain's response by studying the behavior of the heart may contribute to the fact that we will be able to predict with greater accuracy which songs will have a chance to become hits. At the same time, it is a much more effective approach than the one used so far. So far, for example, an analysis of the functioning of the reward system in the brain has been tried. But it definitely did not meet the expectations. By applying machine learning to the neurophysiological data, we were able to identify future blockbusters almost perfectly that the neural activity of 33 people can predict whether millions of other people will listen to new songs is amazing. Such accuracy has never been achieved before, said Paul Zak co-author of the paper. There is no need to convince anyone about the great opportunities that the neuroforecasting described above will create. In the context of music, it will be possible for example, to create playlists tailored to our current emotional state. However, this will also apply to other forms, such as movies or entertainment programs we watch on TV. And in this way, viewers can be provided with the entertainment they want before they even realize it.